Hey, this is Dr. Missy. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Compass. Glad you joined me. Uh, sponsored by Smack Talk Radio. We don't talk smack. We don't talk back. Just giving you the straight up truth. So, how's witchcraft hitting you this week? Well, if you've been feeling disconnected, very disconnected by the way, or distracted, very distracted by the way, fearful, fearful of the future, not sure if God's going to show up, not doing, not knowing what direction you're going in next, then that's witchcraft. You can count on that's being witchcraft. You don't feel like it's your normal. You know how I always tell you guys, know you're normal. Know you're normal, but know you're normal. Before you even get into contraction point two. Because when you know how you are, before contraction point two starts, which is, um, and I'm going to say legitimately starts latter April, but I want to say really legitimately June 1st. Because that's really when you start hitting and start really, really experiencing the pressure. You got to know you're normal. That's just how it is. You got to know how you feel before that point hits, because after that point hits, you're not going to feel normal at all. And you just got to keep going. You got to be pressing through it. So the feeling of being confused, not wanting to go to church or pray, this is witchcraft. So remember, I told you we had entered into contraction point two. And when June came, you were going to start feeling the heat. Okay, well, we're feeling the heat. We're feeling the heat right now. Got heat going on around us, all around us in the natural. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't look at what you see with your eyes because your eyes will fail you. So, this is that. So, the enemy's really PO'd at the fact that God is aligning your heart. He's aligning a lot of our hearts right now. And, and the coolest part is, in this contraction point too, I think above any other, I can honestly say, I've never felt more peace. More peace in the eye of the storm. And so, it's like, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of excited. I'm, I'm really kind of excited. For the, I'm not afraid. I have this, I don't know how to explain how I feel. I just don't, I feel peace and I feel excited about what God is getting ready to do. And I know he's in control. So it's interesting to me how some of the front runners are able to keep their positioning in this new place. And, and it's, it's a new place that we're into, which makes me very excited because I know that we've never been here before, yet we're different in this new place. We're very different. Um, God is got us in this place where we're seated right beside him in heavenly places where we're learning to rule and reign through the courtrooms of heaven and it's exactly where god wanted us to be i'm so i just think that's the coolest thing on the planet right now and so we're learning how to utilize the courtrooms of heaven learning how to kick the devil out of them and the occult is being used in this hour as satan's pawn as well as many unsuspecting people within the nation, as they're being manipulated by witchcraft to serve the devil with his devices, i.e. the looting, trying to bring forth chaos when God's heart is a God of, of order and peace, because God says where people draw together in unity, hello, God is there. <clears throat> so God is a God of order. He's not a God of lawlessness. We know who the, the God of little g is of lawlessness. So the devil's strategy is to hinder God's fullness from showing up, but God... But God, God is always in control of this thing. And that's why I get excited because when I know the storm starts raging, I just start getting really quiet and I start waiting and listening for God and waiting to see what God has to say about a situation. And I know that he's in it. God knows the end from the beginning, people. He's already in your future. And so he knew this was coming. It's nothing new under the sun. So God's always got a remnant that's going to serve him no matter what. So we're, we're not, we're not going to be giving in to any of this being tossed to and fro. We're sold out no matter what. We're the bride that's fully committed no matter what till death do us part. But the best part of this conversation is that even in death, we're not going to be separated because we're going to, we've been joined for eternity to a king. We're married to the king, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And that's the kind of lover God's looking for. The one who sticks around when everybody else is running away. The sincere, authentic one when everybody else is plastic or superficial. He's looking for himself in you. He's looking for himself. Does he see himself in you? That's what he's looking for. The one who knows his heart. The warm, unconditional love of Jesus. And when the rubber hits the road, are we still going to keep moving down that road with him? We're not driving on the side. We're not stuck in a bar ditch. We're locked on him front and center our hearts are locked onto him knowing that he's in full control of the storm raging around us stay in peace brother man this is cool 
This is so, God's got such a good plan for you. If you only knew. All of this are just the byproducts of the enemy not getting his way. That's all it is. That's all it is. And I have to honestly say, hallelujah. <laughs> this is the best news. I've had this excitement in my spirit for two days now. So I'm super excited to see where God's going to bring you. Stick with it. Keep moving forward. And I'll see you on the Rev on Friday. God bless.